Oh yes. We want to celebrate the birthday of our daughter, Nidoki. Can you just come around and celebrate? Oh, yes. She's just brought in today. Where is the money you brought from the bank? Uh father keep the money. baby, you can't continue like this. You already feel looking lean every day. It's your food. Hmm? Are you okay? Are you okay? Sir, take some water. Take some water. How are you today? <laughs> Madam, um, there is nothing serious. Then what is the problem? <laughs> well, we ran a series of tests on her and uh, the result is out. From the test, we discovered that um, she's pregnant. Doctor, I can't keep this child. Please, Tatiana, please. Doctor, please. Is there nothing we can do to save this situation, please? Please. Madam, that you are not suggesting abortion here. If that's what you are suggesting, please, I will never be a party to it. Because it's against my work ethics. And if I'm caught, my license will be seized from me. Doctor, please. Nobody will seize your license from you. It's a secret between three of us. Please, doctor. My niece is very tender to take care of a baby now. And I, it's an error for my niece to raise a bastard. <laughs> my hands are tight. It's not that I, I wouldn't love to help. Auntie. My hands are tight. But there's nothing I can do. Auntie, I can't keep this child. I was gone to a who is its father. I'm only 14 and can't keep a child for a criminal. Please, doctor, I beg you, you would help me. Please, I beg you to get this thing out of me. Please.
Um, Tatiana, there is something you have to know. We have succeeded in evacuating the fetus. But, um, you see, we discovered some complications. As a result of that, your womb had to be removed. Come on, doctor. She knew better than joking about that. I'm joking about that. <laughs> Young lady, we don't joke here. We are professionals. Auntie, is that true? Tell me it's not true. Yes, it's true. No! Um, no! You don't need to shout. No! Take it easy. Take it easy. Uh, no. take it easy. I hate men. This is all their damn fault. <laughs> it's okay. Oh damn it, it's 7 a.m. already. You're fired. Love it. To my room. Now. Funny, ma'am. You're wrong. There is nothing absolutely good about the morning. I told you I'd like to wake up to 100 degrees to make a cup of coffee. Where's my cup of coffee? I'm sorry, ma'am. I was still making it while you well, called. Shut the hell up. I said those stupid lazy excuses. Sorry, ma'am. The next time this happens, consider yourself fired. Mm. Now get your stupid step out of my room. Out! Thank you. Ah. How long will you be staring at this magazine? Eric, I love this thing. And that is the problem. But the problem is you're loving the wrong person. And she's not gonna love you back. Tatiana that I knew does not love me. She's so weak. Come on. I'll make her love me. Really? And how do you intend to do that? Just get my jets ready. I'll be traveling to Nigeria. I'll spend a couple of months and I'll make a funny love. Just make sure you take care of the company. That's it. You are abandoning the company because of that, yo. Eric, I am not abandoning the company. I mean, I believe the company will be in good hands. Eric, you know this is the only girl my heart has ever been for you know it. If you ask me, I would like you to give this a reconsideration. Seriously. I love you. And I'm coming to get you. 
Seriously. Good afternoon, beauty. Skip the beauty part. My name is Miss Tatiana Eden. Let's get down to business. Discuss this over dinner, right? I do not tolerate such nonsense or such actions. Let alone my office. Put that away. And if you're not here for business, use the door. That wouldn't be necessary. Okay. Baby, your strain is all over me. So, you were saying, or do I have to work you out myself? I have lots of people to attend to, and I have zero tolerance for frivolities. My music video will consist of four scenes, and I need you to design the outfits for I and my dancers. And you will be changing outfits in each scene, right? Of course. Smooth. Let's get down to sketching. Hello, Eric. I need an accommodation in the ghetto. In the ghetto? Come on, what, what, what are you up to? Just do as I say. Amen. No part of this girl ever falls in love. Don't you understand that? Besides, this girl in question is so rude. Very, very rude. No one has ever seen her smile. Besides, she hasn't even considered the proposals of riches of men, let alone falling in love with you as a poor guy. Come on, you got to be joking. Well, Damien, if you ask me, I would prefer you appear as the rich guy that you are. No, I won't. Uh huh. Come on, Damien. You are Ghana's top business icon. What makes you think she's not going to recognize you? Nah, nah, nah. She won't recognize me. I mean, I'm not always on the media like others. I know you can do it. I think you should wish me well, okay? Ah, you're so unbelievable. What? What can I say? Good luck, Captain. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, bye. Damien, this guy will never stop amazing me. What is the meaning of this crowd? I, I don't see what the problem is. Of course you can see. Yeah. I know you're too blind to see that you made a whole lot of blunders in that shirt you're holding. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. I, I didn't... I'm, I'm, I'm so... Sorry is not a makeup for lack of professionalism, ma'am. You ought to have cross-checked that shit before bringing it to me. I'm, I'm sorry. You're, I'm... you're fired. I'm, please, ma'am, I'm sorry. It will never happen again. Please, ma'am, forgive me. Get out. Get out! Sense. Yes, hello. Recruitment unit, Binta. I need a new secretary and personal assistant tomorrow morning. 8 a.m., not even later than 8 a.m. Ma'am, you fired 10 new secretaries in the past two weeks. Are you questioning? or disputing my orders? No, not at all, ma'am. Good. Now listen and listen attentively. 
the next time you recruit some bunch of incompetent fools to my company, you will be fired with them. Understood? Yes, ma'am. I am not comfortable with this idea of Damien abandoning his company to go to Nigeria for this Tatiana of a girl. You be, this girl is so rude. She's so arrogant. She doesn't worth it. Eric. From the Eric. Just prepare to go rescue Damien from Nigeria because this girl will not be really bring his head soon. In trouble. You know what, Eric? The Tatiana of a girl, even though she is arrogant, she is rude to people. That doesn't mean that she cannot change. One thing will change her. She needs a soulmate. And I believe Damien is her soulmate. And that's the only thing that's gonna change her. I have said my own. Damien is our friend and he's in love with this girl. So we need to support Damien, you know what I mean? I thought you were in Nigeria with him, but I wanted to pass on some of my vital information that I have. I am here in Ghana. But I guess um, I'm gonna call him directly. So why don't we meet at the UIP station today for a drink and then we'll talk about it. Let me call Damien directly because I thought you were in Nigeria with him. See you later. Okay, cool. All right. Hey, Mr. Lover Boy. Hey, yo, I got some good news for you. Tatiana International Fashion Wall is looking for a secretary. Are you for real? Mm hmm. Wow. Who name it? Very good, brother. I'm not like Eric. Eric is something different. Yeah, I'm about to send you the application right now, so you need to apply immediately. I'll be expecting it. <laughs> And that is a great opportunity for you to get to her. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Thank you. All right, buddy. I wish you good luck. Thank you. Who is there? Vinta? It's me. You who? Don't you have a name? Damien, the new assistant. Come in. So, you're here for the job and I'm sure you have your credentials. And I hope everything is intact. Are you deaf? Huh? I've been talking for the past one minute and you're just standing there staring at God knows what. I'm sorry. Sorry is not a makeup for lack of professionalism in my company. Just so you know. Hand it. Why are you still standing there? Are my seats not worthy for your house? Thank you, man. <sighs> Studied at Oxford University. Yes, ma'am. Impressive. 
and was on it. Thank you, Max. So, are you fashion inclined? Because I don't see anything here satisfying that you went to any fashion school. Yeah, I'm fashion inclined, but I've never been to any fashion school. Ah, Rita has done it again. Rita, how can you recruit somebody with lack of fashion sense to be my assistant? How? Ma, I know a whole lot about fashion. I mean, my grandfather was a fashion designer. Who cares about your stupid family lining story? Does this place look like some sort of roadside tailoring shop to you? But, madam, I, I can... I... Oh, please. No but. You're disqualified. You don't have the job. Take your leave. Hey. If I am taking you for this job, it's for two reasons. One, credential. Two, because I am desperately in need of an assistance. Thank you, ma'am. Sit down. Now listen and listen attentively to the terms and conditions of this job. So you don't say I didn't want one, as my assistants, you are to carry out all clerical and administrative duties efficiently and effectively. Two, you must get to work every day by 7 a.m. One minute late, you will be fired. Three, you are to stand by the door and wait for me every morning so you can receive and take whatever I am carrying. Four, my office must never be untidy. Five, you're the only person that is allowed into my office because if anything gets missing, you will be held responsible. Do I make myself clear? Yes, madam, but- That will be all. I am. I am too busy to accommodate any sort of stupid question. Tomorrow, 7 a.m. is the call time. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, ma'am, I... I'll take my leave now. Have a nice day, ma'am. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Morning. I guessed well, you are the new secretary and the assistant, right? Yeah. Damien. Oh, Priscilla. Okay, mm -hmm. so I heard she loves our coffee, 100 degrees steaming hot. She likes strong coffee with half milk and no sugar. Really? But why is she so precise with the measurement? That's enough. Is a devil. <laughs> really? Of course. Of course, you can trust me, okay? You can trust me. Okay. Oh, the coffee. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Um.
Good morning, ma'am. What is so good about the money? What is so good about the money? And where is everybody? Anyway, I don't care. As long as all the orders are being sorted and sent out, that is all that matters. Okay. So we will be going to the banking hall later on today to deposit some money. Ordinarily, I shouldn't be going to the bank with you. But because I don't trust you with such tasks yet, I have to go with you. All right, madam. <sighs> what in God's name is this? This is dental code. No, madam, it isn't. I served it some minutes ago. It, it's fine. Are you calling me a liar? No, no, madam, I... Good. Now take this rubbish out of here and go get me a fresh cup of coffee. 100 degrees steaming hot! Yes, madam. Mr. Damien Kwame. Yes, madam. The next time you get to work at 7.20 a.m., make sure you already have another job secured elsewhere. Because you will be fired. Take a Out of my sight. Out! Coming with you, ma. I'll do send your car to the king. But what if I try to do something to my car? Am I not going to ride with you? Only your dreams. Only your dreams. My neck is stepping to my car with your filthy body. Come on, pass me my hand back. Pass me my hand back. And shut my door. Damn it, you can't even do anything correctly. This is the transport first. Future bank. I don't want to get there before you. Five minutes before you pass. Serious. I mean, this girl made you walk all the way to the bank. No, I didn't mean that. I mean, she gave me some money for transport first, though. So, what's the difference? If she lets you ride with her, what will happen? Will she die? Look, I have told you to forget about this girl. This girl is so proud. She's arrogant. She's not worth the trouble, Damien. Eric, you know what? I knew you didn't like this lady from the very beginning, okay? But guess what? I think I, I like the fact that she's very tough and I love the chess. So, you love the chess, right? Come on, man. I will not be surprised if I hear that she has broken your head one fine day. Eric, you can be so negative, seriously. I mean, what's wrong with you? Well, my, my advice is run. Just run for your life. You know what? It's time to go to bed, okay? Just leave my phone. Get out of my phone. <laughs> Listen, I have told you my own. Okay? Don't say I did not say it. See, I don't want to lose you. I don't want anything to happen to you. Please. Okay? All right, take care of yourself. Bye. Good night. <sighs> Eric. 